LeBron right. era right. isn't over yet. Right. So right. let me ask you this. How does he compare to your former teammate, Michael Jordan? Let's see. That's been a big debate for a while now, huh? No question. I, I just think that um, if you look at Michael, the body work he's done mm -hmm. over the years, you look at LeBron, the body work he's done over the years. I mean, you're 17 now, going to 18. Mm -hmm. um, Michael is the greatest player ever. You know, Michael's been injured one time. He never asked to sit out. He never asked for anything. But only he asked for respect and money. And people don't realize when Michael Jordan's playing, I think the first eight, nine years, he was barely making $3 million. Mm -hmm. Compared to these guys making $40 million. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> Compared to, no one even knew that. And then when he asked for like, you know, uh, $30 million for Chicago for the first championship, I mean, the, th the fourth championship, he got that, 35 the second year. I guess another 35. I think he wanted 50 <laughs> in, the, in the next year. We were going to go for four, but uh, a lot of things went on. But as far as LeBron and, and, and Michael, if Michael played in this era, he'll average 50. he average 50 points. LeBron's a great talent. No doubt. He's probably one of the top three players ever played with Kobe, uh, Magic, uh, Kareem. But uh, Michael's right there. I don't know why you guys discussed the GOAT. Why you discuss the GOAT? I agree. Mm. There's, yeah. no, why? There's, there's no, no why? There's why? It's not close enough. Us, but, it's not close yeah. enough right, between right. Michael and anyone else to no. really have the conversation. Let's right. be honest right. about it. Stephen A. Well, listen, I, I, Dennis, I want to ask you this question. You see these guys, particularly in today's culture. You see the money that's out there being made about, wow. made from these guys. <laughs> yeah. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts about how guys manage themselves, manage their bodies so they could be ready for the postseason, skip out on games during the regular season, et cetera? What are your thoughts about that? I just don't get it, Stephen. I just, I just don't get it. I mean, the Generation X today, man, has really have taken over uh, the world pretty much, especially in the United States. And the kids today, they, they think they're, they're perfect. They think they're, they have to have certain things to, to, uh, to, to live or certain things to, uh, the way they want to, to live life today. But you, when you're a kid, especially at 19, 20, 21, and you get a contract worth $160 million, boy, I think, I think you add up like guys in the 80s, probably 100 guys, then you make $100 million combined. Mm -hmm. And these kids getting $160 million over five years? Wow. I mean, it's, the mentality of these kids' minds have changed so much. I watched the draft last night, barely. <laughs> so, so barely. And I was watching, not because of who got drafted, mm -hmm. I was just watching the, the culture of, 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 of the kids. And the one thing that stuck, took, stuck out in my mind is to how they dressed and what they was wearing. I was like, my God, these guys are wearing diamond Rolexes. They were wearing like $5,000 clothes. They were wearing this and that. I'm like, wow. This is insane, huh? They can't wait to get in, in, into the NBA because it's money driven now. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much money driven. I think the, as far as loyalty in the NBA, there ain't none. Now, I hate that. I hate that. You, you were a guy who, on the Pistons, I, I think you're arguably the greatest defender who ever lived. Um, on the Pistons, I remember a quote from years ago where you were like, When I was on the Pistons, I grabbed 17 boards a game. Won championships, made 800000 a year. Now I'm on the Bulls, dyed my hair pink, you know, got, you know, nose rings right. and everything, and, and same 17 boards, same championship, now it's $8 million a year, right? Right. So, but what I always took that to mean was at that point in your career, you were more comfortable being yourself out loud. Right. Where maybe you were kind of, and I noticed this with stars today, Kevin Durant seems increasingly comfortable in his own skin. And right. as he starts to speak his mind more, <coughs> he seems to be a better player as right. a result of it. What are your thoughts about that, these NBA stars today kind of being themselves more maybe in public than they used to? Well, it, it does help when you have money and have power behind money. And uh, the owners have no, um, no reason to sit there and doubt these players because they're making all the money for the owners. And I think that... Um, when you have the ability to back it up, like Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, LeBron James, and all these players today, I think where well, you have a right to say something that's going to be positive or negative either way. But as long as, as, long as it's going in a direction where it's going to help and benefit the team, mm -hmm. say what the hell you want to say. You know, as long as it don't hurt anybody, you can say anything you want to say, but as long as you back it up. And these guys can back it up. When I was doing it back in the day, it was more like people didn't know how to handle me. What is he saying? Kick his ass out the league. 
You know, when I was dying my hair, David Stern, I mean, uh, what's his name, David Stern, yeah, right? Yeah. David Stern said, Dennis, you know what? If you get one more tattoo, you get one more tattoo, we're gonna kick you out the league. That's a true story. Really? One more tattoo, one more piercing, we'll kick you out the league. I said, wow, okay, great. I just kept doing it. But I wasn't trying to show the league up back then. I was doing things where it expressed me because mainly I was bored. I was bored when I went to San Antonio. I won championships. I knew how to be in the limelight, stuff like that. And when I went to San Antonio, it was more me breaking out as far as a human being. Because I was more like behind the scenes with Isaiah, Joe Dumas, with the Pistons, because I grew up in, those, in that era with the Pistons. I became a man. And once I became a man, I started to think on my own now. And all of a sudden, I started to follow my own beat. And you see I that with the stars now. I see it with the stars no. nowadays. Oh, yeah. Well, Dennis, we, 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 we've talked about Kawhi leave, potentially leaving Toronto to go to the Clippers. We've talked about Kevin Durant potentially leaving Golden State to go somewhere else. Kyrie potentially leaving Boston, likely leaving Boston to go somewhere else. What are your thoughts about player movement in this day and age as opposed to guys sticking with a team? It's, it's kind of it's kind of sad, though, Stephen. I think you know that because, you know, you've been in this, you've been in this game for a, such a long time, 25, 30 years or how long you've been in this game. You've been covering this game for a long time, 25. man. And it's amazing when you see Ivan Iverson, you see uh, Moses Malone, you see all these guys back in the 80s. Those guys never even thought about trying to go to another team. They didn't even thought about going to another team. They want to win a championship and be legacy in that, in that era and on their teams. But now players are seeing the fact that they want to join their buddies, <laughs> their buddies that they hang out in the summertime and stuff like that and, and think that's going to be cool on the court. It doesn't always mesh like that. you got to understand that, you know, if you're going to go to a team like, say, Chicago, when I play with Chicago, mm -hmm. they, got, they had all the pieces. They just needed one more piece. That was me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.